and we have portrayed the evolution of a Jewish relationship um, with the values and morals according to Halakha and specifically in Ibn Hazza. In this first scene, Eliezer and Rivka go on their first date. On the side, we have a quote from Shir Hashirim that describes the love that, well, in this case, Rivka feels for Eliezer. And it shows how love is a central part of a relationship and how much love is valued in Judaism. Okay, so in this second scene, Eliezer decides that he wants to propose to Rivka. And on the side, we have the actual quotes that he would say, but is not saying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and on the side, we have a quote from our Gemara, actually, that we're learning in Kiddushim that shows how consent is needed um, in order for the engagement to be valid. And it clearly shows how the consent and the dedication of both people in the relationship is very important. The ketubah is necessary right before the marriage. Okay. At the wedding, it's really important for both the bride and the groom to be extremely happy. In fact, we learned that <laughs> guests are, so, <laughs> are supposed to dance around the Hatan Vakala in order to make sure that they are happy at their wedding day. Um, and this shows how important happiness is in the Jewish relationship and how people should be like, happy to be part of Our last scene is the ever after scene. Um, where hopefully it will end with Ani the Dodi, the Dodi Li, where both people are extremely happy. Um, but unfortunately, sometimes it may end in a divorce or a case of Halisa is needed. Um, <laughs> um, and we have a quote from Nabi from Malachi, where Hashem describes his tears when a relationship goes wrong, and it shows how um, important to Hashem these relationships are and how much he values them, and shows really what our mindset should be when it comes to Jewish relationships. Yeah. Um, then lastly, on the side, we have key moments or elements in our understanding of marriage. So first, it was really just to have family, so it was Adam and Chava. Um, and then there were marriage with Jews for strategic alliances, like Shlomo, um, and many kings with their wives. Um, then how consent was needed in a relationship, like in our Gemara, and how Kiddushin and marriage became sacred. Um, and then in 1836, they introduced civil marriage, um, but we still kept our value of having a Jewish marriage. And today, marriage is because we want to, like, it's love and shine. That's it. And we have cake. <laughs> 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 yeah.